welcome to Jim's blog. As you will see, this is not Jim McSpadden that's talking to you today. It's Pete Kelly. I'm the younger, better-looking version of Jim McSpadden. And we are here at Rome. We're standing on the balcony. We're looking out over the over the pitch. It's empty at the moment, but in a couple of minutes' time, Salt Eleven will take on Shamrock Grovers in the elite section of the League of Ireland. I'm here with uh, Paddy Byrne on the balcony at Rome today. And... Uh, Paddy is of, of Acorn Life and they've just uh, joined forces with Salt Eleven as our latest sponsor involved with the under-19s in the academy. Uh, what would you like to say a few words about that, Paddy? Well, please, thanks. Uh, very happy to be involved with a very successful club in Galway. Um, as you probably know, we're, we're a Galway-based leg insurance company, the only one based outside of Dublin. In fact, the only Irish, 100% Irish owned life insurance company. Um, I've always kind of admired clubs, not the car, initially so too. All the local clubs that support young children. Um, you know, I know I'm well aware that Salt Hill have very, very good underage academy. They have children from the age of six up to up to 19, where I'm hopefully hopefully going to get involved in right up to senior team. So very happy to be involved with Salt Hill. Uh, we just witnessed a rip roaring game here at drawn between uh, Shamrock Rovers and Salt Hill Devon in the Electricity League Under 19 Elite section. Um, two or three chances in the, in the first half for Salt Hill Devon. Jason Lyons had a great shot saved by State. Stephen Morris in the Rovers goal after 15 minutes. And some 20 minutes later, uh, Connor Byrne had, a, had an effort. It was saved easily also by Morris. And on 42 minutes, Joe Gohan had a chance set up by Sean O'Boy when he blazed over the bar and been in a good position just outside the box. So Rovers really didn't have much uh, by way of chances in the opening half, so it ended nil all at half time. All the action came in the second half here at Drum, and Rovers were the first ones to get on the scorecard after 49 minutes when Dylan Carney hit an absolute screamer of a shot from 35 or 40 yards out into the top corner. He gave Emil Hernan in the Salt Hill goal absolutely no chance whatsoever. Five or six minutes later, Joe Gahan had a chance, but he was wasted from outside the box. And on 65 minutes, though, Salt Hill Devon were back in the game. A Connor Byrne free kick, and Jason Murphy headed the ball to the net, a really good goal. Soon afterwards, the Salt Hill were in front. Connor Graffrey this time supplied the goal, another header, and this time from another cross by Connor Byrne. Salt Hill were comfortable on the ball, passing it very, very well, and were well on top all the way into the 92nd minute, where we were inside, time added on, and Shamrock Rovers equalised. Cross in from the left, and the big burly centre forward managed to get a knee to it and knock it past Emil Hernan. It was heartbreak for the Salt Hill lads to concede the equaliser in time added on, but overall they show that they're a really, really good squad and they're improving with every game. After the game, I spoke to Brian Laffey, the Salt Hill Devon manager, about his impressions of the game. Brian, we've just wit witnessed a rip-roaring League of Ireland for 19 game here against uh, Shamrock Rovers. A two-all draw, but Rovers only got that draw in the 92nd minute. Yeah, cracking game, all right, Pete. One that kind of got away from our perspective, I think. But, um, you know, we had, I suppose when we sit back and reflect, we'd be happy with the, with the performance, I suppose, first of all. And certainly the result. We came from the front goal down, they got a cracking goal there. So. Yeah, they had a screamer and a great reaction from our lads, you know, they, they took the game back to them, got the equaliser, I think, within about 15 minutes of their strike, and then got the front maybe five or six minutes later. And looked too comfortable at that stage, you know, without being, you know, too dominant, but certainly on top. Certainly, the squad seems to be improving with every outing. Oh yeah, definitely. It's a, it's, it's a squad game. It's, you know, we keep trying to tell the lads. I know the guys that don't get a run maybe get a bit frustrated at times, but it's going to be a long, long season. And everybody, I mean, everybody's going to have to be involved at some stage.